Welcome back to Patrick's Armory. I'm Skylar. Here we are working on a Momonari Kabuto. So Momonari means peach shaped, which means it's got this little, you know, it's kind of like a bassinet, uh, which is a typical Western European helm. So it has this kind of little point from like where the peach kind of curves up, makes a little, a little point at the end, and then curves back down. So we've got our halves of the helmet that we've already got cut out for the size that we need. And we've got a line drawn on on the inside. This is going to be where we're going to form a little ridge. Uh, it has a little ridge uh, traditionally. It kind of gives a little bit of an accent to the helm without giving like a huge striking area. So we're going to go through. We're going to hammer out this ridge and then we'll weld them up and we'll have the helmet dome ready. Okay, so we've got the two close enough that we'll, we'll fit them a more precisely as we weld them. But this is the shape we're looking for. We've got this nice, sharp bassinet point. We've got a ridge in the middle. It's very traditional. So we're going to weld up this point as we go. And we'll just kind of do, you know, slight adjustments here and there to make sure that it's nice and level. And then once it's all welded up, we'll be able to start kind of actually building and getting everything sized for it. We'll adjust the, the width and the depth for our, for specifically for our client's fit, and after that we're good to go. The welding table's a wreck. It might be a sec. Okay, so we've got this guy welded up, kind of. I would not say I'm a great welder. I would hardly even gander to say I'm a good welder, but it's enough to get the job done. And hey, we, you know, we got, we got a nice bead here and a couple nice ones on the front. We'll be able to clean these guys up. We've got to sand them down anyway, so... And we still need to weld the interior. So what we need to do now is we actually need to size the bowl appropriately. So our client has a 23 inch round head around the brow. And so this is already bigger than that. So the general rule of thumb is that you're going to add five, five to six inches onto someone's brow circumference. So we have this sized up at the circumference for 28 inches, so 23 plus five. So we need to upsize his side and side dimensions and front to back dimensions in order to fit. Right now we are at about 11 inches and uh, that's obviously much too big. We're looking at about eight and a half to nine front to back. We want to bring the back end in a bit and that'll widen out the sides. Okay, so to get the uh, first round of, of squishing done, we're gonna stick it in the vise. We've got the back end of the, of the jaws up against the inside of the helmet and then we're gonna crush this from the outside to kind of get this rounded out. Right now it's kind of like a football shape, and we want it actually to look like a human, or at least, you know, human-ish. Alas, 
a human shape, kind of. We'll be able to do some touch-up work on the stump and, uh, and figure it out, but uh, this is going to be a lot closer and a lot less work than doing it all by hand. Okay, so now that we've got our helmet dome already up, we are going to get our other portions of the helmet cut out. So these are our monkey cheeks, our cheek plates, and this is our brow plate that will hang over kind of the brim. We also have a neck plate, but we're going to put that in 16 gauge, so a little bit thinner than these guys, because it's not going to be taking any direct hits. The Shikoro is going to be covering it, so it's really just a backup plan, and we want to make sure that People, the person is safe, but we also want to be able to cut down on weight. So we're going to go ahead, get these lined up, traced out, and cut out, and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, we are ready for our last step in getting this guy together. It's cooled down enough that I can work on it again. So we are going to quickly rivet this guy up and we will weld on the quarter round here. And then after that, where our structural stuff is all complete. Okay, so this is the finished structural portion of the helmet. We've got it riveted on, got everything welded up. It's gonna be ready to go for this section. We're going to go ahead and get started on that Shikoro for our next, for part number two, and we'll be ready to roll. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time here at the Armory.